Hey guys, this is Edro. Today we'll be talking about a newer state management library for React called Jotai JS. We all know that JavaScript community has a bit of a history with being a bit unfaithful to the libraries it creates. Everyone's following the latest and greatest trends, disregarding previous trends like no one's business. And Jotai is no exception. There are so many new state management libraries out there and Jotai is just one of the latest and newest ones. However, today we'll be covering where Jotai fits into all this, what it is, what are its benefits and disadvantages, as well as whether you should be using it or not. To get an idea of what Jotai does, we have to first understand where it places among other state management libraries and what it does differently. A developer has attempted to categorize the libraries into three different types, Flux, Proxy, and Atomic. Atomic is the category that Jotai fits in. I won't get into the details here about the other categories, but what separates the Atomic type is that unlike the others where it stores the state outside the React tree, the Atomic store states internally inside the tree. This makes it so that when using Jotai, it is actually very similar to how you would use useState and useContext hooks, making it very easy to pick up for anyone who's experienced with that. Of course, having said that, the most important comparison that we have to make is between Jotai and the Recoil State Management Library, which is the library made by Facebook. The concept of atoms and small pieces of state are common in both libraries, making the libraries seem very similar. However, Jotai attempts to differentiate itself by saying it has a leaner API, it's less opinionated, and has a smaller bundle size. If you want to learn more, you can check the links in the description for several very good discussions on the differences and when you should use those. All right, to get an idea of how Jotai works, here we have a Create React app with Jotai installed. The first thing we want to do is import Atom and use Atom from Jotai, two of only three functions that are exported from Jotai and thus an example of a lean API. From there, we're going to use our atom that we've imported and pass in our state. And we're going to pass in zero for this count atom. This will hold our piece of state. And then we're going to create a component called count. And in here, we're going to use use atom, which is our hook, and we're going to pass in the count atom that we've created. And we're going to grab the value of count. And then we're going to return a heading tag with count. And we're going to pass in the count value. Then we're going to pass in the count component into our app so we can see it. From there, we're going to create another component called count increaser. This will also use our use atom and pass in our count atom as well. But this time, we're just going to grab the second argument, which is set count. We're going to create a button that will use the set count so we can grab the value it has and increment that by one. And then we're going to pass in count increaser into our component so we can see that as well. And from there, after we have written our code, we're going to run our application and we should see something like this where we can hit the count and it will be incremented. So what that means is that these count atoms can be used throughout the application as pieces of state, almost like you would do with Redux where you can access the state anywhere, but essentially these atoms actually exist inside each of these components. And finally, when it comes to considerations of how popular and how big the community is, Jotai is certainly a newcomer in this aspect. It is sitting at currently 5,000 stars after only being out since 2020, which is pretty impressive. However, it still pales in comparison to Recoil.js, which is at sitting at almost 14,000 stars and has a bit of a backing from Facebook. However, I wouldn't knock out Jotai just yet because the creators of Jotai have created multiple popular projects in the React community, one of them being Zustand, another state management library. So Jotai isn't without credible maintainers.
I mean, look at this amazing logo. So the question is, should you use this state management library? Well, you know, that's always a question in JavaScript, right? I mean, if you really must, my recommendations are if you're planning to use this for smaller applications and or personal projects, sure, go for it. The library is very nice, easy to use, and can be fun to play with. However, if you're attempting to decide on a library for a company and the application might be larger, I'd caution you from using this. If you really wanted to try this type of state management, I'd definitely recommend RecoilJS instead since, as, since it has been out longer and is currently more popular, so the longevity of it is more assured. <sighs> Anyways, I know, I know, it's never easy deciding these things. Just know that you're never alone, and if you have a lot of trouble, you can just always follow these simple steps. Anyways, hope this video helped. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment below about how you feel, whether you like this or you have any questions. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one.